more about phones right now. You hear it all the time at the cell phone store, even on TV and commercials. They talk about things like 4G and LTE. But what does that mean for you, your phone, and more importantly, your bill? KTLA's Dave Malkoff got into a super secret Verizon building to answer the question, what are we paying for each month? Those little 4G bars on your phone only work because there's an industrial strength air conditioner whirring at this secret Verizon facility in Southern California. This building is 4G LTE. You're looking at 10 times the speed 4G LTE versus your old 3G phone. So Isn't that crazy? It's unbelievable what you can do. To get downloads up to 12 megabits per second, believe me, that's fast. On a phone, cell phone providers have had to build these massive facilities across the country. They are much different from the old phone call switching centers. These do voice, web, and text. So when you're sending a text message, that's different than when you're going to the internet. So your phone is talking to different parts of this building depending on what you're doing. Well, let's talk about this. What is a cell in your cell phone? Well, it turns out that's just a technical term for an area on a map covered by one cell phone tower. If you're out in the desert, for instance, where not so many people live, that area is gonna be huge, possibly 10 miles wide. But if you go into concentrated areas like Anaheim or Los Angeles in the downtown area, or maybe Hollywood, you're gonna find very small cells. These could be just blocks wide because more people live in those areas and more people are using cell phones in those areas. Right, so when you're using an application like that to watch a movie and you push a button on your phone, that's transmitted over our network to a cell site. That's it's, radio. That's radio, yeah. exactly. And then, then that comes into our switch here, and then it sends it back out to the internet, and then you're able to watch your movie. But all that speed ain't cheap. Most cell phone companies limit how much you can use their system. Let's say your limit is two gigabytes per month. More than 90% of our customers use two gigabytes or less data per month. Watching just one high-def movie on Netflix per month automatically puts you over the limit. But even for casual users looking at five websites a day, listening to 15 minutes of Pandora, uploading 10 photos to Facebook per day, also puts you over the limit. That means you'll pay a penalty. They can get, for example, text message alerts and know what you're using, how much you're using, and you can manage it too. You're paying for reliability, even when disaster strikes. We have three generators that would kick in. If those go down, then we have backups to those. These batteries are essentially industrial-sized car batteries. Oh my God. And it's enough to power this switch for at least a minimum eight hours. So even after the zombies attack, Dale, get down! Get down! Get down! you can still stream The Walking Dead. You weren't able to do that uh, a year and a half ago. Dave Malkoff, KTLA 5 News.